G'day yeah, guys, Matty from Paulby Sessions Australia. Made a little day trip, well it's not even a day trip, it's a few hours up to this awesome little beach up north, just near Tea Gardens, called Little Gibber. Gonna air down, I thought I'll show you the drive on, show you the beach. It is, it's just epic. In Norris wind, it's normally super calm. So we'll air down, I'll probably go down to 15, not stuff around, the beach does get pretty soft. So we'll air all four tires down and we'll head out there. We're coming on just here at Lemon Tree, a little gibber. That's where we're going to. It's an awesome little spot. So let's get up there. So with all beach driving, gonna go on full drive high. Then we're gonna turn off traction control because that always annoys me. And should be good to go. A, bit, a few tips on beach driving. 15 psi, ugh, 15 psi is what I always start at. It's normally pretty good, even on the softer beaches. You don't really want to go below 10, so when you start rolling beads, just take it easy. Also, stay in the tracks. Like if there's other tracks already on the beach, normally that's a bit more hard pack. So I normally just try and stay in them. Obviously, your car moves around from side to side because people don't like driving a straight line, but. <laughs> stay in those tracks if you do want to stop don't hit your brakes because hitting your brakes builds up sand in front of the tires so literally come to a rolling stop and your car will stop to get going again especially with mud tires I've found the slower you can take off the better you can get back up on top of that hard sand again and just float along with an auto I run it in sports mode Sometimes I'll even run it in manual mode. It just depends how soft the sand is, but this doesn't seem too bad today. Anyway, we'll head down, all the way down there to the point at the very end. Let's get into it. We just got here, just set up. It's midweek and I can't believe that there's actually a fair few people here, but I know everyone's getting out since coronavirus, so you know it's not uncommon. But this place, absolutely awesome we had no dramas the beach was pretty soft so i'm glad i went down to 15 but what a place the swell's actually up today normally it's dead glass off like it's there's i've never seen swell here the eight or nine times i've been here so that surprises me but can't wait go for a dip it's normally super clear water here I don't think today is going to disappoint. Look at that. I don't think there's any rock pools around here. Super nice to swim in, but I have a little sus anyway. It's nothing like going on a little adventure. Almost gonna be spewing. Lost his board. He's swimming in, the board's already halfway out the back. He will be he. I'll try and grab it for him. So me being an ex-surf lifesaver, I thought I might as well just explain to everyone what's happening with that board. There is a good gutter there at the front of the beach and on change of tide right now, the rip is 
hammering through. So the rip's gonna is coming along those rocks and then spinning out the back. But how that board is just sitting there is that's what a rip does. It'll get you all the way out the back and then it just dies off. So if you're not a strong, strong swimmer, just let the rip take you out. And once you get out the back, it'll die off and then you'll be able to swim across it. If you are a better swimmer, obviously swim across and as always swim between the flags people and especially mum and dads you got little kids keep an eye on them because dead set we just saw how fast that board would go you can imagine a little kid and trust me they wouldn't have survived well, i'm gonna go for one last swim and then we'll have to pack up guys the exit is definitely soft like I, it went all the way back to first but as you saw i can still go super slow and get up there no worries you get all these idiots that come full noise out of there it's not necessary one bit anyway i'm gonna pump up my tires down here yes i'm gonna get a haircut hopefully tomorrow but <laughs> pump tires back up and head home anyway thanks for watching guys and i'll bring you another video real soon have a good one